Okay, well, I got a different kind of camera here, so hopefully it works out all right. Uh, this is the Honda CL350 in super nice shape. Uh, no holes under the exhaust where they typically are. Tanks clean inside. Um, one little scratch there. Mileage showing 17,000. Um, maybe I didn't clean this up at all. Actually, everything looks like it's pretty nice on it. Rubbers are still real soft. Uh, one little paint loss there. No rips in the seat. This is the one year with the grab bar. Rims are really nice. Uh, like I said, I didn't clean it up, so I haven't cleaned any of these bikes up yet. So, uh, biggest flaw at all is a little dent right there in the tank, which is hard to see. Um, let me try to start this up. It's cold. Let's see. Motor's nice and quiet on it. Uh, you can, like I said, you can't even hardly hear it run. I think the horn and lights, everything works on that. Okay, uh, another one. I got a, I don't know if you'd be interested in this, it's two stroke, uh, Suzuki Gopher. I think over there they're called A100s, but this is the actual factory sticker on there. Uh, it's a 100cc two stroke. It's a nice shape, no rips in the seat. Uh, a couple little dent there and there in the tank, real shallow, probably be popped out. Um, rims are real nice. There's some rust on the chrome over here on the fender. Might clean up. Uh, and the front fender's also got chrome's kind of got a wrinkle to it. So I don't know if it's kind of coming off or what the deal is. Uh, this only shows 1,500 miles on it. And it's usually one kicker. Kind of a neat little bike. Um, the kickstand area, the down here needs a little welding. Something broke on that foot peg, so needs a little welding. Uh, I do have a title for the blue bike. I know that doesn't concern you that much, but uh, the rest of the bikes. Do, um, well, I have one of the bike with the title. Okay, then these here, I got a couple CL70 Hondas, and I picked this one up because it was nice cosmetically, but it had no motor. And then this one I found later with a motor. So I know you like the scramblers, so I don't know if you're interested in the pair of these. Make one good bike, one out of two, and then, you know, use the parts for something else or sell them off. So I just thought I'd show you those two. See if you're interested. This one here I think is the nicer one. And then I have an X6 Hustler, but it has the fiberglass body kit from Suzuki. This is an option to make it more like a cafe racer that came in blue sparkly and red sparkly. There's enough of the seat here that you could reconstruct a seat. Um, this is a rare thing. They were sometimes shipped from the factory to the dealership without a tank and seat. And then the dealership would put those on. But the kit consisted of the tank and the seat and then a chrome front fender instead of the painted front fender with the stripe. Uh, this one has a title. Exhaust is nice on it. It is stuck. I can't remember if I bought it stuck or not. But as of right now, I try to kick, it doesn't kick over. So if it is stuck, it might not be that stuck. But I have not touched this one at all. So, but it is kind of a neat bike. Makes it look a lot more modern. And there's the uh, Scrambler again. And then I do have one. I know you're into the Scramblers more than the low pipe bikes. But I do have a nice gold C CB350 that was lady owned. It has 2,400 miles on it. And it still has original tires on it. The only cosmetic thing about that is the dent on top of the tank there, which may or may not pop out, but it starts right up and runs, and everything's real nice. The gauges are real bright on it. They're not faded out. This thing didn't really spend any time in the sun because all the gold is really deep colored. So I don't know if you'd be interested in that or not, but I thought I'd show it to you. Thank you.